Hi, I'm Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm glad you're joining me today. You can find me at stampwithdeb.com and I am here on, I'm on Facebook Live every Tuesday at three o'clock and Pacific time. And um, I'm so happy you're here with me today. Let's get started. I have a really fun project for you today. That is what we're gonna make today or what I'm gonna make. So the thing is, is you can't buy this today. This is something you can earn, and it, I know it's early to do this, and I usually try not to, but I just thought this was such a pretty card, and I just wanted to show you a couple things that you can buy today, and a technique for doing this. So, this is the Wonderful World stamp set, and typically, I don't know about you, but many times I look at these kinds of stamp sets and I say, what am I gonna do with that? I don't wanna stamp it in purple. I want this flower purple, but I don't wanna stamp the branches in purple. Or I want this one, you know, pink, but I don't want the branches pink. So I'm gonna show you today how you can do that and do it easily and um, show you some things that I used. So a long time ago, they we had what were called deckle scissors, D-E-C-K-E-L or L-E. D-E-C-K-L-E, -E, deckle scissors. And when I first started stamping, they were the big thing. It was the deckle scissors. And they cut this uneven edge around the top here. So let me show you close up. So you see this uneven edge that's cut here? That's what they did, or this one here. They cut that. So now we have deckle rectangular dies. And so I use those today. Those you can purchase um, at this time. And so I'm gonna show you how I use those and what I did. So I started out with a piece of eight and a half by five and a half um, of Mossy Meadow. And let me burnish that. Scored it at four and a quarter. And then I cut two pieces at five and a quarter by four. One of them is gonna go on the inside. I have ribbon. Uh, not ribbon, but baker's twine. One's gonna go on the inside, just like that, plain and simple. I didn't add anything extra. I'm not stamping anything on there at this time. The other one is gonna go on the front, but we're not gonna touch that yet. We're gonna use that as our surface that we're working with. Okay, so then I took and I cut a piece of um, DSP from this set. Oh my gosh, I have to show you, this DSP comes with that. So it is a $100 requirement for a purchase, but it comes with this beautiful designer series paper. So I'm gonna show you this side first, and then we'll move over to the other side. I'll flip it over and you can see the other side. Um, so this is a little tiny flower here. These are, these are so sweet and they spaced them apart so you could take a circle or an oval die and cut those out. And that would be really pretty. Then this pink is just like the one I'm using, except for the background is pink. And then the blue and purple is the same way. I mean, yeah. And then on the other side, we have, of course, more of our basic patterns. Let's pull that over, a stripe, a leaf, um, I don't know what to call that. A diamond, <laughs> maybe. Um, and then some more leaves and, and a, a pattern here. So, oh, and there's one more. This one. Okay. So they're really pretty papers. I'm sure that we're going to do some fun things with these. Um, I love the, the big flowers. I think they would be easy to cut out, to fussy cut these and i think they would be pretty on the front of some a card or a package for some reason these make me think of a box putting them on top of a box so anyway i'll have to work on that while i but those are the designer series paper that's a designer series paper it comes with the wonderful world stamp set so i took the mossy meadow and what i did is i took the largest decal did i do this right yes i did I took the largest deckle die and cut out and I placed this on it and cut at the same time. So now I've got my two pieces that I need. Those are the two, this one 
and that one. I have this piece left that I could use for something else, so we'll set it aside. But that was the largest, and then I did not the the third, fourth down, one, two, three, fourth down, fourth up, yeah. And then I took a piece of mossy meadow and I die cut the the one in between. So cut the one, two, three, four. The fourth one down was the one that I the mossy meadow in. You guys will figure it out. So you're just gonna keep getting larger or smaller. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to attach it to the front of my card or to the white layer. Okay, I need my mat. I have a problem with white on white and getting it straight. So I'm just going to grab my mat and then you'll notice that this is a little bit odd shaped for our measurements, but I think it's because we do European as well. Um, and their cards are different shape, different sized. So I think that's why Stampin' Up! has done this. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this to my piece of white. So I have that little white trim. Just like that. And then, oh, Lynette, that's neat that you just ordered them. That's fun. And then I'm going to attach this to this piece of mossy meadow. Now, if you look at my other card, you'll notice I didn't use mossy meadow there. I grabbed the wrong color and I used old olive, but it worked out okay. I mean, it's not too bad. So we'll see how this one looks. Okay, and then I am going to use the, um, oh boy, I'm right at the end of that one, aren't I? I probably have enough, we'll give it a try. See if I can peel that off. And let's see if we have enough here. I just need a little bow, it is. So this is the polished pink, which is one of the in colors from last year um, that came out. I don't think I have enough to tie a bow. I'm gonna tie a knot on this one. That'll be a little different, but that's okay. Just because I have enough here to do that, but not enough for the bow. Okay, that'll be that'll work. And I'm gonna trim off those tails. Whoa, come on. Okay. I'm gonna squish this in the center and just move my bow a little bit. That's the one thing they don't, um, the decal doesn't wanna let the bow slide. Usually you know, we can just slide the bow if it's not where we want it or the knot. Um, the decal doesn't let it do that because it's deckled. Okay, so then I'm going to attach this to the front of my card with dimensionals. Typically when I put a bow on, I like to put dimensionals. It pops the layer up and it gives room for the bow to help support that ribbon. On this ribbon, it really doesn't need it. And I'm gonna put a ton of dimensionals on here. I want it to stay popped up. Um, it doesn't really need it because it's so flat that it's not, there's no extra thickness there. But we're gonna do it anyway. Oops, one more. See if I'll fall off, nope. Okay, and I'm just gonna place this. Now you see I have a hole in here because I cut this piece out of there, but I have extra layers. So even if you get this a little crooked, it won't be bad, or if it's off-centered a little bit, it won't be bad. You'll be able to cover it up. So I'm just gonna move mine up a little bit there, and there we are. Okay, so then let's go ahead and attach this to the front of the card. And I'm using some old Stampin' Up! adhesive because I ordered the wrong adhesive. I ordered the um, Stampin' Seal Plus, and I, it's a little bit pricier, so I don't like to use it every day like that. So um, I'm using some old Stampin' Up! adhesive that I purchased a long time ago, and um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good. Okay, now I have a circle here somewhere, right here. And let's move this aside. 
So when I started looking at my designer series paper, I realized I don't really have a, a stamp, the color of this, I mean a, a pad, the color of this. It's kind of the polished pink. And so as I started playing with it, I liked it, um, the polished pink. I tried a couple different colors. I tried the Blushing Bride and I tried the Melon Mambo and none of those um, worked for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink up my stamp here and I'm just gonna mainly ink the flower. And of course, I'm probably gonna get a little bit of the stem. You wanna make sure you're starting with a clean stamp. You don't want green in your stamp. Okay, and then I um, took my stamp and write marker. What are those? Those are something we don't use hardly ever anymore, but they are great on red rubber. They work really well. So I took my stamp and write marker and I just started coloring the leaves. So I'm just gonna give this little guy some color. And I am using Mossy Meadow. And so this is gonna come out dark. And you see I'm doing it on the side of the marker because I can cover a larger area and get a better, um, a better image that way. Right around there, I wanna go that way. And I probably, yeah, I do need both sides. I was thinking I don't need both sides because I was playing around doing some other things and I only did one side. Okay, now, when I stamp these, I have a greeting that I'm gonna stamp also. Let's get my greeting out. And I know that's gonna dry. Huh? So when I stamp these, it was too dark to just use it that way. This is the thank you from Go, go to Greetings. Yeah, Go to Greetings. I love it. Um, I love this whole set. It's just amazing because it's just happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note, and thank you. And they're just repeated, and they added in a hello here. But they're just repeated over in different fonts and different sizes, so they're perfect for most any card. Okay. So I'm gonna come back to this, and I am gonna take a dauber. It's a dry dauber, you can see it has red on it. Let's get the red off. Okay, and I'm just going to blot that, because I wanna remove some of that dark green. Just like that. Now I'm gonna huff on it. And I am going to stamp. And I have this beautiful flower. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's so pretty. I got a little bit of green. I mean, a little bit of that red. Oh, here's my green dauber. That's the one I was supposed to use, not the red one, huh? Okay, it works out. The stem looks brown almost, so that's okay. All right, so then I'm just gonna finish this off. Let me close these up, just so I don't put my hands in them more than anything. And let me grab my card, bring it back in here. And look at that, by doing that, it's just, um, it's light enough that you can see through it, yet it's, um, it's green instead of being pink, like it would have been. All right, so I'm just gonna attach this to my card just using some adhesive. I think I have enough pop without popping it up, just like that. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of bling, of course, we have to have some bling and these are the 2021 through, I mean 20, yeah, 2021 through 23 opal rounds. I love these. I was so happy when they came out with these because I didn't like the ones that they had last year for the um, in color for that, for the 21, 23 in color. So I was really glad when they came out with these. And I'm just gonna pick them up with my take your pick tool here. And you notice I'm sliding them. If I slide them, then I end up getting the glue as well, the little glue dot that's underneath. Um, and there we are. And that is my card for today. Very simple, but I think it's very elegant. I love it. I think it's a great card. I would love to send this to someone. I would love to receive this one in the mail. So um, 